Welcome to the Flexlane Media coverage. We're here for the back seven lead card action of round four at the 2020 Christchurch Fling. My name is Chris Hitman. I'm Brady Cush. Yeah, wow, we finally made it to the final push here for the tournament at the Fling. It's been such a good time watching these players battle this course. Yeah, who we? It's been a real long weekend. 21 holes makes for a long round. Four rounds makes for a long tournament. Um, this is pretty unique here in Christchurch, so it's really good. Second to last tournament of the year. Um, so we're all looking to try to finish strong and see if we can make a push. Trying to make a push on our leader, Simon Feezy, uh, currently at minus 12, sitting very comfortably in that lead. You know, like he's trying to be chased down by Jasper. Jasper is currently in fourth. Um, see, so he's overall at a plus five. You have Hemi chasing him in fifth um, at plus six. And then, yeah, I'm kind of leaking out the back. Um, you know, like, yeah, I'm sitting there kind of, you know, like at plus eight, you know, like I'm not doing too well. Um, start off here with hole 15, par three, 98 meters. Um, most of us are going to be taking a shot straight up the gut. We might be taking a forehand hanging out on the left hand side, letting it kind of skip back at the basket. Um, you can see that the basket is well guarded by all of these trees. Some of us might get a little aggressive and feel powerful. We might try to push through this uh, guardian tree here on our right. But a lot of the times you're just taking it right up the middle of this tree without all the limbs. If you can skip just inside that, you'll skip down at the basket. Definitely a much kinder, more open approach from the left-hand side. And what is also kinder is the conditions, bright sunshine as we head into this back seven. Unfortunately, your tee shot not getting the height required, just straight into that first hill. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, so I made that mistake throwing right into the headwind, threw it too low, trying to take the wind out of it, but I brought all those hills into play. Um, Hemi's going to be not so bad, so he's hyzered out a little bit early, but it looks like he'll have that window so he can punch through. Um, so he shouldn't make it out too bad. Jasper's look like he's lining up a forehand. Hopefully take it out wide left hand yeah, side. he's going to have to push this far left, but that, that doesn't looks far look far too left. high. And he's exposed too much Ooh. of the fly plate to the wind, and that has just drifted straight into that quite... Yeah, so Hemi Yucky pushed. Rough. Yeah, he's going to be behind that one guardian tree. Mm. There's that middle set of bushes down the mm. fairway. So Jasper looks like he's put himself into that. Simon then looks we'll, like he did the oh, same thing I did, but, but <laughs> different wow. result. Gets the pro treatment. Yeah, right. Big skip. Is that national champ? Like, is he flashing some, <laughs> yeah. like, NZ rings there? Uh, so, yeah, good skip by him. I got a tricky, again, that headwind still roaring at me. Oh, I'm taking my buzz OS. That's fluffy. Rice. Yeah. Yeah, I get caught up. So yeah, I got caught up by that guardian tree. I'm going to be outside the circle. That's going to be a pretty tough look there. That's a really quick, speedy approach from Simon. Yeah. yeah I wasn't he, quite sure he was going to go lay out first. You got to watch him. Now, this is Jasper in this rough. It doesn't look very friendly. And punching as far through as he can. He's only just made the edge of that rough. Uh, yeah, so he didn't get... Didn't punch out like you said. This is gonna make it tough up and down. So he's still in that same bushes. He's looking for a little bit of luck, but mm. based on that expression, doesn't look like he got it. Yeah, I think he just met this uh, wall of uh, of leaves that Hemi's trying to face through. And yeah, it's a really good hole. You know, like it's a well protected yeah. green, so you you know you can't kind of get lucky through mm. it. Mm. Even Hemi just taking the layup there, you know, like and that wasn't a terrible drive by him. Yeah, you really have to shape your shot well in this one. It's a great hole. Let's see if you can. Get in for par. Woo! Yeah, that headwind was playing with pretty much every shot, so you can see like a little wobbly out of the hand, so it, you know, like just kind of cut right and turned over on me. Jasper's got an open look. He's pushed out to the right hand side of the, that tree. Oh, looks yep. like an awkward kind of push towards the basket. Yeah, a little bit of stepper, a little low, never mm. gave it a chance, which is unfortunate. Simon with a good par, you know, like that's a good recovery by him, you know, like a nice upshot, you know, he compensated where I couldn't. Hemi's going to tap in and he'll have a par here as well. Um, So that's good for him. And then, yeah, you know, like we have Jasper tapping in a double mm. bogey, it looks like. Yeah, you know, he had trouble getting through that rough in yep. the middle of the fairway. And that is you also with, but well, getting a bogey. Yeah. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Um, hopefully we can turn it around. Let's go. Hole 16, par 3, 115 meters. Um, Jackson Sullivan's really the only one I've seen so far make it through and be onto the green. So you're trying to play under that Mando, take it as high as you can so you can punch into this green. As you can see, once again, we have a well-protected green. We have a bush on the left and right and the little skinny tree to miss in the middle. But if you can miss all of that, you'll be parked for your birdie. That's it. Direct hyzer flips really the play here. Not a lot of players have it um, as a as a routine throw, so it's no. going to be interesting to see what happens here. And yeah, as oh. you can see, Simon isn't even going to throw the hyzer, so he threw low last round, so he ended up early hitting the Ooh. ground. And he's drifted 
What? Far to the right. Yeah, so he threw a cut roller, but yeah. again, he didn't get it too vertical, mm. and it looks like the wind is coming from our left to our right. So, you know, like it kind of kept the disc over on that oh. right hand side. But that's push, how you want to do him it. Uh, not quite as long, but he's bitten off most yeah, of the Yeah, but that's, that's, yeah, that's just fine. You know, approach. he got the hyzer through, he's mm -hmm. halfway there. Should be a nice up and down for him. Oh, that's good from you, too. Little Similar, low, yeah. yep, but I'm out with Hemi. Yep. You know, like I made the Mando. That's all really what I'm trying to do. I, tr I The Mando was about a meter too short for me, I think. I wanted uh, about a meter higher. Yeah, I suppose just probably wanting to go a bit too big. Yeah, a little, little meter wider for him, so he's going to have to proceed to the drop zone. He missed the Mando here left. Um, So, oh, yes. Heiser, got it. Oh, what a throw. Yep, lovely by him. Yeah. Looks like he caught just a little bit of that tree on the right-hand side. So, yeah, that makes him parked. He's just on the yeah. edge of the bullseye. Looks like a uh, west side gatekeeper from the drop zone there. Yeah, I hated this approach shot. Mm. Um, it's super awkward distance for me, you know, like especially having a touch. I throw a lot of overstable stuff playing in the wind. So, yeah, I just caught that vegetation on the right. Didn't filter through like Jasper, so I'll have circle's edge. Let's see what Hemi can do from a similar position. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Look at that garden's touch. And that's the difference. Yeah, the garden's touch. Yeah, probably a little pull cap from him, a little bit beaten in, you know, like nice little touch slide right to the basket, even with a win. Not a problem. Ah. Uh, si yeah, Simon was way really, outside. So he had to go, line. go back door to try to like come in at it. I'm pretty sure he's about two meters to my right. So we have basically the same look. Yeah. What a pass save. And we're yeah. going to get a replay of that one. Replay. I think you're the most replayed of our lead cards. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say that's my third putt. Putting was kind of the one thing that I did have on this weekend. I was super happy to get that. That was a great save for me. I've been struggling with that hole all weekend. Um, you know, like, yeah, so that was really good. I was hoping Simon again put himself in a look. So hopefully he can get the oh, what? Off, ah, the... off the top. Yeah, it looks like Simon's been a little bit lazy. Heading yep. into the end of this round. Well, that's it. Like, no one's really pushing him. So mm -hmm. he's way out the front by, like, six or seven strokes or mm -hmm. ten strokes or whatever it is at this point. So, yeah, he's on oh. super cruise mode and way too much cruise mode. So, again, wind's going to be playing tricky. I know that, like, putting's kind of maybe the weakest part of Simon's game, especially around that kind of, like, five to seven meter mark. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of see with no one pushing him, he's kind of relaxing a bit too much here, coasting in. Um, so, yeah, you know, like, he had a couple missed putts, you know, like, so that's a double bogey for Simon. Jasper getting his bogey. Won't be too happy with this start in the back seven. Yeah, uh, but he can walk off comfortably. So he did go to the drop zone. So he got the up and down, which yep. is really good. You can see Hemi's super stoked. You know, like he had that nice, easy drop in. Um, brings us here to hole 17, par three, 76 meters. So you will have a few players take it straight up the middle here as the drone flies. Um, you know, like it does bring in this low ceiling, the trees, and of course, out of bounds on this fence line to our left. And you'll notice a couple players like myself will take a big wide spike hyzer out to the right and we'll let it the wind push us back in kind of hopefully either through the poplars or most likely just on the backhand side. They're just completely taking any of those trees out of play. Hemi with the left hand, he's going to be going up the middle. Yeah, trees uh, came into play, low ceiling. I so yeah, it was going to push through. Yeah, the line looked really good. But yeah, this wind's playing havoc. So if it jumps you just a little bit and you're off. And here you are, floating one out high to the right-hand side. Yeah, I'm just like, Where I don't want to play with that ceiling at all. Oh, that and came in so high. What? You would have passed the poplars. Like yeah, a little high fives Whoa. from the card. So, like, I did not expect that. That was super high. Got quite the wind push. Must have come through the poplars in order to get that. Yes, but trying to push through, getting a low branch. Yeah, it seems Just like he had, it down. yeah, that same thing that Hemi mm. ran into of that he pushed the ceiling too much, hit the ceiling and got knocked down in the middle of the fairway. Simon liked my line, so he's going to follow outside Spike Heiser. Did he get the height required? No. Oh. So he's a little bit short. So yeah, you know, like yeah. I made sure to pump mine like nice and wide. Like I want to be long. That's going to be my miss. You know, like Simon wanted, he got the weight pretty good and he's probably edge of circle, but he has Still all the height. poplars in his way. Yeah, I think we've seen a, at least one player from every card so far end up in that exact location mm -hmm. just, just early of the poplars. Makes it really tricky for the putt. Yeah. Hemi with a great upshot again. Again, it's probably that beat-in pull cat of his. Oh, Jasper's going to follow that's suit. That's lovely. Yeah, such great putts. Yeah. You know, like, again, this South Island, they tend to have really touchy courses, so it's kind of all about, you know, like, mitigating that damage and just sliding under the basket. Oh. Great angle, Chris. That was a really good find of being able to see him. I couldn't see that on the backside, but yeah, he got too greedy, mm -hmm. caught the poplar, so now he's got a tricky putt here. 
Ooh, just, <laughs> just, just sneaks it Sneaky. in. So yeah, a little greasy on that one, sliding in off the edge of the basket. Um, but yeah, you know, like he'll take the par. No, uh, no harm, no foul for Simon. Oh, Bang. great, buddy. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I was super excited with that one. I really need this one down the stretch. You know, like if I'm going to make any push on it, you'll notice that I leave my mini. So this was actually CTP for the fourth hole, uh, for the fourth round. Um, so we're, uh, it's a measure off, I believe. <laughs> we see you starting off already. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to keep speed of play. You know, like it's been a long weekend, you know, like, and here I am kind of like itty bitty taking weedy steps. <laughs> Do you know who you took it from? Oh, I took it from Haley Flintoff. Oh. I beat her by like six, seven centimeters, like half a foot. You oh, know, like shit. it was super close. Hey, shout out to Haley, eh? Yeah. Massive shout out to Haley. That is an epic shot by and her. You took that CTP. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just one, by bro. a smidge. Nice one. Onto hole 18, par three. Obviously got the two trees straight out of the gate. Got to avoid those. Split the middle and this birch on the left. Got to push uh, to the right hand side. Not sure if what we'll see from Hemi. He might op um, opt for a bit of a turnover, filtering through, avoiding the rough on the right, right um, up to the pin high. Yeah, I'm gonna guess Hemi will take something touchy, you know, like a little bit of a flip up and let mm -hmm. it walk just a little bit to the left. Um, I'm of course trying to go right down the middle and get a little hyzer and a skip at the end towards the basket. Ooh. That looks a little right. So it yep. looks like it, it turned over out of my hand. Um, again, a uh, few of these holes are playing kind of directly into a headwind, and that's exactly what happened to mine. So rather than hyzering out, it just flips up and stays straight into the woods. Yeah, so here's Hemi. Doesn't oh. look like it's that blue tourney driver, so I don't know. Mm. Will he go wide? I know he throws a stingray, so it could be that one. And that's, yeah. Yeah, straight down straight the middle, out. shaking his head. Yeah, you know, like that's going to be low out of him. He's going to have some work to do on this up, hunch, up shot. Let's see if Jasper can make the correction. Yeah, makes yeah. the correction nice and straight out it's the hand. Still turning, so kind of following your angle. Mm, yeah, it looks like he might have caught a little bit of mm. tree. So a tree is going to expose that flight plate into the wind, which is going to turn him over just like mine did. So yeah, he's going to be out on the right-hand side. Hopefully he looks a little bit shorter, though. Straight this up the middle. A little bit early. sawn off. But again, that friggin' he's in the open. Yeah, Champ Love in the open, got a great skip, so he's out there. He's gonna be well outside circle two, but again, you know, like he can give it that fun little half bid, you know? It's it, it's basically just a walk, you know, like Simon's gotta finish to win it at this point. Hemi's still relying on that turnover. And why wouldn't you with that kind of touch? Yeah. Talk about it. Can we roll that back, yeah. please? Thank you very much. If you want to see how to throw an upshot, watch Hemi. Um, great commitment to this. You'll notice there's no flutter in the shot, so it's coming out super smooth, so the wind's not affecting it at all. It also keeps the spin, which means when it hits the ground, it's going to slide forward. Moves forward. Yeah. Yep. Great shot by Hemi. Well, well played. Looks like Jasper's going for a jumper. He actually didn't go long enough to re reach the uh, the rough there. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. He was in the open. Yeah, so he's just fine. You know, like a little half bid from him. Here comes Simon. A little, yeah, little yeah. half bid from him. Technically, Drew Metal. <laughs> Drew Metal, a little low. Hey, and where are you? Not where you want to be. Um, sorry, Gwen, for this one. I think you followed me into the bushes too much this weekend. <laughs> My get out of jail shot. Um, it you know, worked like... for you all weekend. You played it well. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, forehand was, touch roller. I was jealous after I saw a few of these. Need to get out into the field and find myself in some bushes and practice those. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the pot we're all looking for. But hopefully, you know, like we're looking for the birdie. You know, like that's an unfortunate for Jasper for the par. Um, absolutely amazing par save by Hemi. That was a great upshot by him. I'll tap out. In fact, we'll all tap out our pars here. Kind of yeah. little barbecue for the lead card. That's it. But, you yeah, know, no harm done. Or harvesting for you, Simon. <laughs> yeah, a, li a little harvesting by lead card. Uh, let's move on. Hole 19, par 3, 89 meters. Um, hopefully you make those two trees out the middle. Um, if you can make it through clean and make it over these two hills that are kind of guarding the fairway, you'll make it to the basket. The basket itself is nice and wide and open. Most likely you're taking maybe a putter or a mid. Um, and of course, you do have out of bounds on the far side with that fence. Um, I parked this in the last round, so I'm looking to get aggressive. I'm throwing my buzz kind of straight up the middle. Um, looks like it's a little high this time. Oh, that's got to sit. Oh, oh no. no, it's like yeah, leaking long OB. Yeah, normally yeah. you feel like there's enough space to work with mm -hmm. over there. So if you hyzer out, it's good. The grass will grab you. You're not going to slide out of bounds. Unfortunately, I did not get that in this case. This is a great rip from Hemi. Keep going. Yeah, it's just fading out a little bit to the right-hand side. 
Yeah, trails out. Looks like maybe he didn't commit. You know what I mean? Like a lot of players off the tee, they're really trying to focus on making that gap. But, you know, like after mm. that, you know, like kind of especially if you're playing lead card, you got to think about, OK, I've made the gap. Where do I want it to finish? And he didn't quite commit. So that, you know, like oh. hyzered out a little early. <laughs> Just sneaking past the tree. Jasper off the tee. And that's beautiful. Yeah, get some. That's really yeah. what you're looking for. You know, like, yep. Yeah straight down the middle let it slide a little bit to the left not a problem you know like that should be an easy birdie look for him That's, simon getting yeah, sneaky too a slip up but probably a Drop. little bit soft he's gonna oh, oh no even that one's uh, yeah so he got a bad skip like i did mm, too so he went mm -hmm. out of bounds he almost got the save though so he clipped off that baller that almost kept him in bounds it's a little bit unfortunate for simon so we're gonna be circles edge i think here's hemi just outside the circle yeah, with a, a little layup. jumper yeah I don't really think he liked that one though. That that finished a little bit short. Looked like a little fluttery out of the hand. Ooh, Again, little yeah. fluttery out of the hand. Wind's, Wind's carrying that. Hold of that. So Simon goes up. That's probably I'm going to be thinking about that as I'm putting here. So I'm going to try to focus in because again, yeah. I don't want to leak too many strokes here out the back. Oh, just off the top of the rim. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm not not too hard on myself. Mm -hmm. You know, like that was a tricky distance. The wind was pretty tricky. Oh, Jasper. Uh, no. Man. This is two rounds in a row, man. Like, this lead card, what are you doing? Get your putts together. Come on, Simon. Yeah. Thank you. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Like, play like we play on, like we're on the lead card, boys. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good putt by Simon. A little unfortunate with the spit outs for Jasper and myself, but we should be able to tap in here. It'll be an unfortunate bogey for me with the out-of-bounds stroke. Um, but that's all right. Hemi should tap in his par, no worries. Yep. On there we Hemi. go. Yep. So he's kind of paring out. So he's holding steady there. You know, like he was kind of fourth, fifth spot. Yeah. Um, Jasper's really holding par. Really disappointing for Jasper. And it's really disappointing to see such a good tee shot unrewarded. Yeah. You know, is. like you really yeah. got to focus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every shot. Focus on every shot. And on to hole 20. Par 3. 81 meters. Uh, just shooting straight out the gap. Going to avoid these poplars on the left, hopefully aiming straight between these two guardian trees and relying on those poplars in the back to stop it from going OB. We've seen some two phenomenal drives in the previous round, so let's see what this lead guy can do. Yeah, this on the weekend played the easiest as far as I know, it was the easiest hole on the fourth round. Um, and that's Hemi making it look pretty damn easy. Textbook. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do it. Show me a little bit of that touch. Low ceiling, no problem for Hemi. Coming out nice and smooth and clean. Um, looks like a mid out of him. Again, that little bit of nose up, putting that touch on it. And then, yeah, just sliding and... <laughs> little kiss on the basket there. Great shot by Hemi. Um, yes, we're probably going to want to follow that. Stay on that right-hand side. Go straight at the basket. Pretty much, it's the exact same shot he just threw. Yeah, it looks like he might be throwing the Westside Gatekeeper again. The same one that he parked the basket from the drop zone. I'm going to stand up. Yeah, it looks like it's a little early. Nose oh, down. Gets a bit of tree love. <laughs> yeah, Just I'll a bit take of a it. Redirect. Yep. He's a little bit longer than that first spot. Hopefully, mm -hmm. he can make the correction and take the birdie on this one. Um, I'm trying to make the correction as well. I hazard out a little early on that last one. So I overcorrect on this one and am juiced. So I'm out the back. I've put my puzz outside the circle. That's going to be a tricky putt in this win for me. Um, Simon hopefully can make the correction from his out of bounds as well. Uh, it doesn't look like he made the correction. Never uh, really got it flat. Hyzered out, so he's going to be left in that popular line. Kind of similar to the previous hole. Just not quite on it enough. Uh, he did make the putt for birdie last round, so maybe he can make it again this round. Yep, similar. Um, except it looks... He's on uh, the knee this round, so it's going to be a little trickier, and he's like, yep. Yeah, I'm just going to... Got a lead, doesn't yep. matter. And he's dropped down to nine under par. Yeah, so he's lost, lost a couple of strokes. strokes. Yeah. yeah, that double bogey with the triple mando. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit hit cage there. Um, you know, like I'm not too hard on myself for that. You know, like it, it's starting to sting at this point. I definitely know I only got two holes left if I'm going to make a move. <laughs> Talk about make a move. Let's go. Jasper, great putt. You know, like a little shake of the head because he's like, mm. uh, I didn't love it. <laughs> yeah. Corner pocket, but hey, that'll do. But easy tap in for Hemi. Yeah, that's the birdie you want. Make that's how it, you want to finish this hole. One to go. Take the birdie. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, so he's sitting my, he's sitting at plus two. So he's really trying to push those, you know, like top two, three spots. You know, like that chase card is coming in hot. Yeah. So a few of us have been checking scores here and that kind of stuff as we come into the last hole of the tournament. Hole 21, par five, 199 meters, arguably a par four. Um, so most of this lead card is going to be want to come straight down the fairway land right here in the middle by this poplar. 
Um, once we do that, we're gonna kind of wanna make it around this far corner here. And if we can navigate both this guardian tree in the middle and that guardian bush on our right, we'll land right here inside the circle for our birdie, if not eagle look. We do have out of bounds on the road um, inside the clubhouse and also an HQ to play with, um, but hopefully that won't come into the play for this lead card. Hemi's Hemi's. coming. Yeah, I made a good move on that. Yeah. Hyzered up nice and wide. He can play to the safe, kind of bailout zone just oh, in front of this rough. Catches a that's tree. That's what a happened. Really good, that's a really good... Yeah, uh, that's a yeah, great run. redirect yeah. for him. It looked like he was going to be in the bushes where you don't want to be, which is unfortunately where Jasper does. Yeah, and so Jasper, he's out of bounds. So protecting so the... Mando. Yeah, protecting the T-pad on hole 14. Um, there's a Mando there on the corner. So you'll see me like... Hemi looked like he sawed it off a little bit, you know, like you had the grip lock there by Jasper. So I'm thinking, okay, settle, just throw it down the middle. You did it last time. Uh, that's really early. Didn't do it this time. Yeah, so it's a <laughs> super early release by but me. I didn't want to do what Jasper did. There's no OB, so you've gone straight into the rough. Yeah, so there's a fence there, and I'm pretty sure that I've hit the fence and kicked off. So, like, I have yep. stayed safe. Really lucky break. Yeah. Simon, however, doesn't need a lucky break at all. He's perfect. <laughs> Two for two, uh, round That's three, great. round four, right where you want to be, straight down the middle. So yeah, Jasper is going to be throwing from the drop zone next to the Mando. So he's got a bit of work to do in order to make the pin. Yep, good flip up on that, holding nice and straight. Yep, making Chris turn around. Not quite turn around enough. So yeah, there's that kind of guardian tree out in the middle. Um, shouldn't be too bad. He'll have a low ceiling to play on his upshot, but manageable. So this, I believe, is going to be my upshot that you can't see. Uh, catching a branch, but you're more in the fairway, at least. Yeah, yeah. so I, I couldn't make forward progress. So I literally was just trying to punch to right where I am so I could get this look here. Big and, sky, um, sky hyzer, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I put everything onto this, everything that I had, because I know I have yeah. to make a move. Um, so yeah, you know, like, I'm just like, Hey, Chris, you on the corner. Yeah. I'm coming around. And so, yeah. And you made circles edge. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great upshot. Hemi hoping to turn one over around, uh, oh, that's into the, the green. One. And this looks like a superb line. Sit. Ah, oh, it just doesn't quite get enough turn on it. Yeah. And Distance is right. He is pin yeah. high. Yeah. But it looks like, yeah, he hyzered out right. So, you know, like that's the gallery there. Some of the cards had already finished. So they're watching this lead card come in. Simon's upshot. So yeah, Simon's most likely going to go for Eagle here. So he's going to, yep, come nice and high over. Yeah. And boom, yep, just spike. Beautiful. So he's going to be just outside the circle. Um, But hey, I mean, like, that's an Eagle bid. <laughs> you know, like, it, it'll put him into double digits under par. Um, If you can make that, that would be, a, you know, like, kind of great finish for him. Jasper, again, had that low ceiling to deal with. So he ends up a little bit short, probably wanted more of a skip on that one. Yeah, still putting distance. We've seen, unfortunately, the, him miss a little bit, but, you know, he'll be pushing hard to finish this round on a high. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got that home crowd, hometown crowd <laughs> watching him, so it'll be good to see that. And Hemi, as always, Hemi, beautiful upshot. Yeah, doing what he always does, yeah. great touch by him. Um, so yeah, I was much shorter than I wanted to be. I was hoping I was inside the circle. <sighs> Just a little low. Yeah, I at least kind of gave it a bid, but yeah, I never gave it enough. Um, so, you know, you know, like you can still see the wind blowing here, Simon. Come on. Eagle, 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 eagle. Put it on for the crowd. Come on. Oh, uh, it was, it was right online. Right online. And Just to be low. honest, I've seen Simon do that so mm. many times of like, he doesn't even have to, like he's yeah. in the lead all, you know, and he'll still like throw it in. Yeah. Um, so, you know, like it was a great round by Simon and that kind of, oh, <gasps> oh. oh damn. Great bid. Man. Um, yes, Everyone for man. Everyone peppering the basket. Yeah, but we're all parked here, like, nice and easy. You'll sell me, take par, you know, like, I point it in, make sure, you know, like, that's it. That's <laughs> the end of my round. We're damage done. is done. Damage over. Hey. Pretty by Hemi. Yeah. Great play Great by him. It. You know, like, Jasper comes in the bogey a little bit unfortunate from the Mando. And then, yeah, of course, the birdie by Simon. Massive congratulations to Simon Feasy. Must feel good to come away with another win. Uh, adding another tally to his excellent career so far. Yep, yeah, let's chalk up another one. Let's put a little tally in that win column for him. What a weekend, um, what a lead card. You know, like it was so great. You saw all the camaraderie there. You see all these smiles here as we go to confirm our PDJ scorecards. Um, you know, like, yeah, such a great weekend. Congratulations to Simon Feezy winning it on a minus 10 in second place, Jackson on an even, Hemi Teofito at a plus one in third, and then Johnny Ferrari at plus two in fourth. 
Yeah, we've seen uh, a lot of movement through this final uh, seven. Um, a lot of players moving up from chase card to uh, put a move. Um, obviously, Simon so far ahead, really difficult to catch, but you know, there's still um, a lot of pride in second, third, fourth position. Yeah, pretty much. It was close battles the whole way. It was really good to see that. You know, like we had a massive field this weekend. Um, you know, like there were five, six, seven divisions that were all being competed for by, you know, like four or five players. Um, heaps of sponsors to shout out. Happy Hire. Amazing marquees. The HQ looked awesome. RPM, thanks for coming on board. The Katuki was a massive hit with the advanced division, launching it on the weekend. Sales Pizza, DishShop.com, NZDSS, Fortica Disc Sports, the Tui Tui for Brothers. Uh, giving a grip bag. For yeah, the well done. Thanks, so boys. Cool. That was awesome. Um, disc bros for the hundred dollar race pot, and thanks so much for Daz at Brodisc. If you are keen for more coverage, check out the chase card over there. Yeah, definitely keen to see that. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you at the next one.